This voiceover is kind of giving me a boner, dog. Let's go. Rolls Royce truck, that's tough. That's you see the star when you look up. look up. So, if you don't know who I am, basically, I am the one BMX rider who doesn't watch any BMX videos. So, of course, I'm gonna make a series about reacting. Now, this one I have watched. It has been so long since I've watched it. I don't remember. But before we get into it, I want to make a quick disclaimer, which I didn't think I was going to have to do. But, uh, okay, real quick. Anything that I say is completely my opinion and no way fact. This is a reaction video. You're not here to watch the actual edit. You're here to see me react to it. If that's what you signed up for, my opinion is mine. It doesn't reflect any sort of truth. I don't want that to impact your opinions of the writer or the video. Everything I say is just for fun. It's, 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 it's entertaining series. It's all this is. It's just entertainment. Don't take anything too seriously. This is simply just a fun reaction video. All of big boys like 12 year old fans fucking flipped shit last video. So I just want to make that really clear that um, my reaction is my reaction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I say I didn't like that trick or I'm not super hyped on a certain thing, that's not a form of jealousy or hate. That's called a reaction, you dumb fucking 12 year old sluts. I'm just kidding. Say what you want. I don't care. Freedom of speech. I actually don't care. Say what you want. But I feel like I have to say that after the reaction of last video. And 80% of the people absolutely loved it. I mean, it, if you look at the like to dislike ratio, it's completely normal. If anything, it's more positive than negative. I don't want that little group of 12 year olds to get, I don't want to ruin their day. I don't want to shit on their favorite writer. I want you guys to know that it's a fucking joke and we're all just having fun. But anyway, so today we are reacting to the Scotty Kramer. Fuck, I don't, it's made for this edit. I think that's what it's called. And I think it's with Fox. Here's the thing. I've seen this like one time, a very long time ago, maybe when it first came out. I don't remember it. You guys wanted Scotty, Matt Ray and Trey Jones. Number one on the list was Scotty Kramer. So we're gonna react to his edit. Let me know in the comments below who you want me to react to next. Um, I actually, I'll throw up a screenshot right now. So a couple exciting news. And the reason I'm telling you this is because this is not me, this is us. This is me and you guys. We are doing this. If you haven't watched the last video, I thank you guys so much for 20,000 followers. And um, I'll throw up a screenshot. Billy Perry followed me on Instagram. I think I talked about this in the last video, but I just want to thank you guys. It's just crazy because you guys have done this. Billy Perry followed me on Instagram. Our BMX left a comment on fucking something, but it's just crazy because because like that's that's because of you guys. That's because you guys like this shit. That's because you guys give me the ideas for these videos. That's, I, I don't know. I think that's dope. Anyway, Billy, if you're all watching this, you're not. Fuck, never mind. Anyway, if you're all new to the channel, my name is Grayson Roberts. Hit that like button. I apologize for the super long intro. This is like the first actual upload of 2020, so I gotta you know get some shit off. I this is we're in a new set right now. I don't know if I like it. Let me know in the comments below if you like it or if I should just keep trying on new ones. Look at that lamp, dude. That's the lamp I was talking about last video. It's fucking dope, huh? Anyway, I'm not wearing a beanie so you can see my shit ass hair. Let's get into this video. Okay, so real quick, this one's a little bit different. Usually the people I react to, I, I don't really fucking care, but this is the one guy. Scotty Kramer is not only just, a, you know, a legend. He's so good on a bike. His personality, now, okay, you guys know this channel and the Scotty Kramer channel are complete polar fucking opposites. He is super family friendly. He is super just completely positive. And we kind of have like, you know, we, we, we're we more of like making jokes unfiltered, you know, dropping F-bombs every other second. He's like mostly like family focused, fa fa not fa fuck, family friendly, like just straight positive vibes. He doesn't cuss nothing dirty. He doesn't put anything, you know, it's just straight edge, just as plain as it could fucking be. Which is great because someone needs to do it and I respect him for that. He keeps a clean image, he keeps, which, which is really good because when you're that influential, you don't want to be doing dumb shit. You don't want to be slamming fucking beers and smoking dubs on camera, you know? So it's good to have someone that that's in, that influential and uses that power for good. And he tries to get people in the sport. Now, not only is he good, not only is he a good guy, after that crash, so I, I you know, I respected Scotty Kramer, but it was just another BMX rider, which, you know, yeah, whatever. Cool, cool guy, I guess. But when he crashed and the way he dealt with that, the way his attitude on and off the bike, just in general, and still his attitude today fucking blows my mind. It's an inspiration to all of us. So I usually when I react, like for example, the big boy, I don't really fucking care. He can do what he wants and it's not really going to affect me. But this, the Scotty Kramer has truly affected us all. And if you, if he hasn't affected you, you're a fucking twat and you're lying. We definitely have different channels. Four years ago. All right. He looks more of like a motocross guy than a BMX guy with that full face. That's the one thing about Scotty Kramer. About as good as it gets, he's so safe. I don't like helmets, let alone a full face, but to each their own.
never saw that scene from the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a sick park. I feel like I'm on fucking LSD when I'm watching this. All the B-roll is like swirls and... Wait, what the? Four Scotties, how the fuck did they do that? That is crazy. Four Scotties. I guarantee that the other three Scotties are locked in some fucking closet at the Incline Club. I know it's torn down, but I guarantee there's a closet in that bike shop, maybe, where they keep the extra Scotties. And whenever Scotties, I don't know, at a doctor's appointment, I bet they pull out the other Scotties and they take. That's fucking wild, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! You good? Dude, the buildup is killing me. I look like a mad scientist on meth. You good? It's just time to go eat, right? We get time to go eat. We can eat, Scott. Huh? We can eat bike lube and chain grease. The fuck is this? Where's the tricks? Where's the mad tricks, dog? New Jersey's where I was born. New Jersey's where I was raised. This is the town that I found my first BMX bike. This is the town where I crashed my first BMX bike. This is the town where I landed my first BMX trick. This is getting really emotional. I think I'm gonna cry. I was only seven or eight. Like I had to choose between BMX and football and I chose BMX. You had to choose? Fuck, dude. I started racing and I was, that was pretty much it, man. I was hooked. I didn't really like the competition of trying to beat people. That's code for Scotty sucked at football. I didn't like competing against other people. That's facts though. I agree with that. Fuck people. I hate relying on other people. Like I, I liked doing my own thing, you know. I like competing against myself. And I guess that's what BMX is. It's a constant competition against yourself. It's hard to explain like to anybody that's never done a trick before. This voiceover is kind of giving me a boner dog. I thought this was an edit. Did I, is this not an edit? It's like a documentary. How important the tricks are to a rider and how how you express your riding through the tricks and, and just how gratifying it is to land a trick for the first time or to have an idea about a trick and make it happen. It's just, it's a feeling that you'll never get sick of and it's a feeling that I never want to lose. Why are the cars parked like that? Did anybody else pick up on the fact that somebody parked those cars like that? Minor detail, fuck my mic is falling off. It's a good video. It's the reason it's good is because it's different. And the fact that it's different is making it really easy to make fun of. That's some pipe BMX shit right there.
I made a video and I was talking about like, I was roasting my own edit. And I was talking about how I'd ride a bike like this. I'd have a hunchback. This motherfucker has the hunchback, dude. <laughs> So that angle was kind of underwhelming, but he did a rail ride tail whip down a very good drop. Now, to my eyes, that's like, oh, I don't really fucking care. But when you actually think about it, that trick he just did was so awesome, I guess. I don't, really, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. This thing behind me is reeking of lavender so hard and it's kind of making me have to shit. Let's try to get through the, the video first. Oh my god, they pulled out the Scotties out the closet again. There's only two of them this time. The other two must be charging. I bet they sit in there and like spoon feed each other. But that's so boring, I bet. Or maybe there's a little half pipe in there. So a double whip is one trick I don't understand. I've never really been able, I've only tried double whips a handful of times, like maybe four times. It just doesn't make sense to me. So the fact that he can double whip with such ease blows my cock sideways. Yeah, man. That was it. Gosh darn, dude. Dad gummit. That was quite the spook. <laughs> I love you, Scotty. Um, fuck that. Oh. <laughs> dude, PG as it gets, and I as much as I'm as much as I'm making fun of it, and keep in mind, making fun of things on this channel, I couldn't give less of a fuck about what anybody does. So just know it's for entertainment. But for the sake of conversation, when I make fun of him being PG, just understand that just because we are opposites doesn't mean that I don't think it is the best thing in the world. If I could pick a whole bunch of BMX riders out there to be like either myself or be like Scotty, I don't want a bunch of me's running around. That'd be a douche festival, dog. I want a bunch of Scotty Crammers. Really fucking good, really humble, probably uses the word dad gummit and says pop instead of soda. We need that, we just need more of those. Anyway guys, if you like this, if you laughed at least one time, hit me that like button. And if you like me, hit that subscribe button because here's the thing. I, I mean, there's no real incentive for you to subscribe besides the fact that I'm asking you. Also, let me know what you think of this setup. Yes, no, I've got another couch there. I've got a whole apartment that I can try to find shit. Let me show you the little, 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 little let me show you the living area. Maybe you guys have an idea, but I don't know. I kind of like this. It's kind of boring. I don't know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below who you want me to react to next. Fucking my mic, dude. I need to get this setup figured out. Fuck a cap, stop off a jet. Woo!